Hi guys, last weekend in Wisconsin we had an amazing con called First Squared, and boy was it a ton of fun, and man do I got some stories for you. There was a very interesting con with a lot of funny things that happened to it. I'm Chewy, and here's my First Squared recap. So, like usual for cons, we got there Thursday. Um, I came in later than they did because I had to work, so I can't really tell what Addie or Scarlet or Wolf had ended up doing before I got there, but essentially by the time I got there on Thursday, there was only a few things going on and I was kind of tired from work, so I pretty much just stayed in the room. So kind of cycling over to Friday, really we wandered around first did a bit and uh, went and got food at the mall, which the great thing about First Squared is it's next to a mall, uh, Brookfield Square Mall, I think it is, and it's super good for uh, getting a bite to eat or anything. We wandered around until we got to Iron Fursuit, which was around 4 o'clock, hosted by Sema, who, if you want to see the actual footage from that, I'll have a link to her channel up above, and you'll be able to see it, because, dang, they were some great, like, one-hour built fursuits, because she said they were some of the best that she's ever seen made in that time period, and I was super happy with how it turned out. I mean, just look at this guy. He also sold for $100 in a charity auction, so that was pretty impressive. But that was one of the really great ways to start off a Friday. From there, we went to another thing that was quite enjoyable, Huskoon's Furry Feud. It's like Family Feud, except furry, and interviewing furries. And that's when you learn you hate furries when you survey them. There were so many questions where everybody got confused and everybody was arguing. And it was a great time. Super fun game show. Hopefully there's recordings of it because I'd love to watch over it again and just see how silly it was because I was laughing the whole time and having a great time. Uh, besides that, there was a bit of the uh, raves. We went around, drank, drank with friends, partied it up. It was a really good uh, nighttime of activities going on. I had a really fun time that night. Then Saturday. What better way to start it off than with Saturday morning cartoons? Bunch of interesting music videos, odd skits that I hadn't seen before from Adult Swim, all fun stuff like that. And right then over to the Wisconsin first meet and greet. I mean it is a Wisconsin con but you'd be surprised how many people were from Minnesota or Illinois area, so getting to see some of the locals that you don't get to see too often is always nice, always fun. I always enjoy it. But then to the main thing, the dance comp. Now, for this one, I did a duos, and I learned a valuable lesson. Duos are hard. Don't do duos unless you practice for like half a year with that person. Because boy, is it really hard to coordinate and, and properly do something when your mind wants to change schedule like half a second before you do the next thing you were supposed to do. But it, overall, I think I learned I have a lot of work I need to do and I definitely need to practice on dancing a bit more. And also congratulations to Addie. You've seen her on our podcast. You'll probably see her in a couple of videos coming up. She got second place on it. She did an amazing job on it. Um, and really besides that, I don't think too much, wait, wait, I forgot to tell you guys the best thing that happened that night, and it was right after the dance comp. What I almost forgot to tell you is probably one of my favorite panels I've ever seen done in a con. And I don't think they did this last year. It was called Cake Roulette. Now, it's a, the entire con's theme was gambling and casinos. So what better way than a game of chance? And this game of chance involved two batches of 16 cupcakes. One of, these six, one of these batches of 16 was full of like custard, chocolate, Nutella, blueberries, things that would be good in a cupcake. Now, the other 16. Sriracha, blue cheese dressing, refried beans, clam chowder, things you wouldn't want to find. And what better way to entertain people than to make a lot of your main crew eat them? And they did it in a really ingenious way, where for a dollar, you could find out what was in it. For five dollars, you could pass it to the next person on the line to have them eat it instead of the person who got it. For twenty dollars, two people would have to share it and eat, eat 
each would have to eat the stuff inside. Now, this worked really well for a charity standpoint, too, as it was really engaging. And you didn't really notice how much you were spending because you were enjoying all the things. It really captured that gambling aesthetic that they were going for. But it was really worth it because for $5, I got to make Pepper Coyote pretty much throw up. So, I don't know. That counts kind of like a win. <laughs> but besides that, Saturday night was a, bit, a lot more partying, some dancing. Uh, breaking open those like sand rocks, the clay rocks that have like actual rocks inside them that someone bought from a uh, party store. That was really neat. And you can't forget the fursuit games on Sunday. That was really the only thing we did because of how much we partied. We kind of slept till noon and they didn't give us much time to do much of anything. So we went and ate. We went to the five guys, which we was weirdly only staffed by one person during peak rush hour. So, uh. That took a while to actually get our food, but then when we got back, we did the first two games. Pascu did an amazing job organizing it, and it gave me a ton of ideas for a Quantifer's first two games, so make sure you attend that, because we're going to be throwing up a bunch of new ideas for you guys to try out. So we're really excited about that. But uh, really, that's about it. I had to go home early to cover a shift at work because I wasn't able to get everything off, but I tried to make the best of what I had. What about you? What did you enjoy about the con? Did you have fun to it? Did you even go to it? If you didn't, what were you doing? You playing video games, eating some noodles? Tell me about it in the description below. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy. Bye.